Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and today we're going to play with a couple of pieces of paper. These both measure six and a half by seven and a quarter. So six and a half by seven and a quarter, both pieces. And that's all you need. And they could be scrapbook paper, they could be digis. This is um, tea dyed paper from Melody at Willoughby House. So yeah, that's all they have to be, is two of those, okay? So we're going to kind of do one of these pockets again that we've done before, but we're just going to do it a little bit different. So I'm going to slide that paper inside of the other piece. And instead of like gluing it here on three sides and having this front part be the pocket, I'm going to glue it on these three sides and make the middle section a pocket. And then you'll have um, something pretty on here. This can open, you can make this a writing spot, a writing spot, the pocket obviously, um, and then two more writing spots back here. So it's essentially one of those pockets that we've done before, just in a different configuration is all it is. But you could use any paper you want to do this. And even if you want um, parts of it to be written on, you could add little like note uh, spots or something like that with other paper. If you wanted to use a printed paper, um, just add some little, you know, note spots. And you've seen me do stuff like that. I did that on Alley the Cockney Crafters um, design team project. I added little spots to, you know, write a note or whatever. So that is what we're doing. So I'm going to put this in here. Oh, I need to cut your thumb hold that first because um, you know you want to make sure that you have that in there because you won't be able to do it after unless you've got a punch that works that way mine just won't fit so that's why I like to punch that notch first and I'm just going to slide that one inside of there close it over hopefully get it lined up as best we can So these are super easy. These could be mask made. You could definitely do a mask made type thing with this because that's just two pieces of paper. So that's super simple. And then you will obviously glue this part down into your book and you have, you know, kind of this type of thing. I need more glue. I didn't lay it down fast enough so and I did such a thin bead it started to up already. I get the bottom part good. This part needs a little more. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I um it's it's Monday for me. I know it's Tuesday for you, but yeah. We had a nice one we <laughs> um put up our Christmas tree and if you have been with me since last year you know I had problems with my Christmas tree last year. It, um, we got it all the way decorated and the lights went out on it. Well we got it working last year and so we took it out of the box this year and it was working so we were like oh well good I guess it's gonna work. We got it halfway decorated and the lights went out again. <laughs> so we stopped and went and got a new tree. Which was not exactly what we wanted to do right now, but yeah, we just knew we probably weren't going to get it working again, so that was a bummer, but uh, such is life. So this piece of paper is out of my uh, Reason for the Season digital download, and I'm going to use this side over here. I'm going to do kind of a shabby Christmas look on this particular pocket, but like I said, use whatever you've got. Regular scrapbook paper will work great, especially if you have like a Christmas one that's double sided or something. I just don't, I don't have a Christmas one like that. So, um, but yeah, that would, you know, be super easy because then you'd have all your sides covered and not have to worry about any white spots. Oh, I don't want to do that. Not paying attention today again. And 
tomorrow I hopefully will have another digi coming out another reason for the season I wanted to get it done before Christmas and it's just you know time is going so fast I just cannot seem to keep up no matter what I do I just, this is always kind of a crazy time of the year we have lots of birthdays in our family so um, you know that makes it kind of crazy. Wow, I really did not tear that straight. I mean, it's fun having the birthdays. It's just uh, with Christmas coming. That's always a little not fun to try to figure out. So it ripped it really crooked, but it's really fine. We can always add a little something on there. Need one of those cutters, but that's just another thing to have up on the table. <laughs> yeah, we got a pretty good deal on a Christmas tree, though. And the price of, because we were like, well, we'll just go get a real one, you know, because that'll be a little bit less expensive and all that and uh, we saw the real ones and they're like $70 for a oh that's a second for a um, like six foot one so I mean really by the time you throw it in the garbage and everything you might as well buy one that'll last a few years that's fake so I love the real ones though they smell really good And we've had ours for, we figured out, eight years. So, I mean, that's not great, but. And I'm going to donate it because who knows, someone may know how to fix it. We just don't. <laughs> We're uh, not real savvy with that kind of thing. So hopefully somebody will know how to do that. it could be a good deal. It's a great tree. It's a nice tree. It's still in good shape. It's just we can't get the lights to work. And they're all connected into it, you know, because it's one of those pretty strong ones already. So it's not even like we could, you know, fake it or something. I have this. Oh, it's not going to fit. I like how it says I heard the bells on Christmas Day, but I don't really want to use it if I'm only going to, if I'm not going to get all that. Did I do it upside down again? No, this is right side up. For some reason, I want that rose in that bottom corner, and that is all I'm going to keep doing. I think I'm going to try to use this. I'm probably going to have to snip off just little pieces, which is kind of a bummer. But um, this is from Taylor Made Journals. It's part of her German scrap. And I got the set two. So that's what that is. I want some music paper yeah. this book is really old I like the color on this one one page. That happens sometimes. I just want part of it, you know. And I'll save that to make a little cluster or something. And it's not Christmas music, but this is what I have, so... I don't even think I'm going to ink that because it's nice and patinaed as it is. So that's what 
myself doing schoolwork stuff. You know, you know what, I think I want to cut out a little bit of that in the middle. Sorry, and my arm's right in your face. But I just don't want, I don't need all this um, plain white paper in here. I need a new blade on my cutter. So yeah, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Ours was good. I guess we talked about that before, but it's just a nice weekend. Ours was very small, and I know a lot of yours was even smaller. <laughs> Just my daughter and niece came over for her birthday dinner. So these are all people that we've kind of been around the whole time. So that's been good. Okay, so now we need to figure out how much of this is going to get cut off. Still feel like I want a little something with her. rather bland. These are just scraps from, um, this is Graphic 45 and this piece is from Stampin' Up. Hmm. I like that with the blue, but those roses are more of almost a peach. I think I'll just take a strip of this. And I can't remember what this call is called. Um, it's Stampin' Up! I doubt they have it anymore anyway because they uh, put new stuff out all the time so it's hard to ever have anything. They just don't keep their stuff around very long before they take it out of circulation seems. Yeah, that's just not, they're not going to get it. I need more of a, I wonder if I went over on the other side. I just don't think that's the, what I want with it. Let's see if we have anything in Medieval Mirage that would work. These are just all scraps, so I'm really not sure which thing they're all from, but... Oh, that piece might... I'll do something with that. That's one of her pockets. I wonder if I use this corner pocket. And you can cut around these, it's probably the wiser choice, but...
shaded it up just a little bit. So you get both this torn edge and the other one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue her down and then I'll trim her wings and the snow under her. Actually, you know what? I could probably trim the snow now because it's not like it has to be that particular size. Yeah, I want the side with the bell more, so I'm going to try to get the whole bell and then I'll have to nip a little bit of that other wing, but I think it's alright. needed to like get back to work kind of played the whole weekend <laughs> well I mean I did do some work just not as much as I wanted to get done but you know when the family's home that's what you want to hang out with them and you know Christmas tree and all that takes time Got it all, so I'm gonna have to nip that one wing, which is kind of a bummer, but at least most of it's there. Okay, so that's that one. And we need to figure out a something to go in the pocket. I'm going to go ahead and cut it with my cutter. So if you don't like the cutter, it's coming. So you might want to mute. Cut it just a little bit smaller. And how far is this? Seven and a quarter. So we'll, do, we'll just do it at seven. Because there's always, you know, the part at the bottom where there's glue and all that. <laughs> that was a whole lot more difficult than it should have been. Yeah, I'm going to have to take off a little more. I don't know. It doesn't want to fit in there. It's funny when you glue it, how that edge just doesn't want to go. And another trick is to round the corners at the bottom. Well, all the way, you can do them all the way around, but um, that helps it slide in and out easier, so we might do that too. But I just want to get the size right first, and then I'll worry about that. I think it'll go fine. It's just uh, flimsy right now. Seeing a gap right here, barely. Okay, so we'll get this decorated. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on that. I didn't even think of that part. Just thought of the other part. So these, this is the type of thing you might see in um, my next reason for the season. I'm not totally sure yet because, like I said, we're not done with it. But I'm not sure which ones I'll end up using and not using. But I printed a few just to get an idea of what they would look like. So what this is. Some background. Oops. 
Did you get one, Theron? No. <laughs> Still trying to get a PlayStation. May not be in the cards for a while. Saved his money and he's dying to get one, but everybody wants one, so and they just have the way they've released it is kind of ridiculous. Like stores are only getting 20 of them, and I don't know, it's like this big game. It's actually really annoying, I think, the way they do it. And then the uh, bots, the computer bots, buy them all so people can sell them on eBay for way more than they're worth. It's just all a racket, really. And it's unfortunate because he's lucky to have saved what he has. You know, he can't go on eBay and spend a ridiculous, ridiculous amount. I mean, obviously, it's not a necessity. It's just, it's a bummer for the kids when they actually save their money and then... Can't get the thing that they want to get. I have another one of those angels, but I'm afraid we're really going to have to chop her if we put her on here. I guess it would really just be her a little bit of her basket. So we could do that. Oh my goodness. Extra salty. Yeah. He is salty this morning. I'm just petting him. No. Not allowed. I don't want you to pet me right now. It's so nice to have such a loving pet. It's cute. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> just a brat. <laughs> Theron's always loved him, and he's just bratty to Theron. I mean, it's kind of, there's a reason, because Theron kind of holds him against his will and mugs him a little bit. Not mean, just he wants to hold him, but Pasha does not want to be held, period. Don't care who it is. So... And just wants to love on him. Oh, you know what? I think this is the. Let me see if this one. Because I used the thinner paper for that one. Print it out a little better. What's the matter? She's downstairs. I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of the space off right now. So, yeah, sorry I'm cutting this. You can fast forward. <laughs> I just want this one. Um, I want them to be the same. And this one's printed on more of a cream color paper. And the other one's printed on white. So, yeah. So yeah, Carrie the Crafter really um, got me going on these. Like, I just keep thinking of different ways to do it. So, thank you to Carrie the Crafter and Gail Augustinelli, who got the awesome gift that he made with all the different pockets. And um, then Gail shared it and gave us all great ideas. So, that's always awesome. And I don't know if somebody else has done these kind of pockets. That's just where I saw it, so could have been. It's very possible. But 
but you could definitely do this this same one with two pages from a Edith Holden book too so you don't have to do Christmas at, by any means for sure I mean in this one it wouldn't even really have to be Christmas it's just more of a wintry look I got really close to that snow. It's all right, because I'm going to cut it down. All right, so her, that part will fit. I think most of it's going to fit just her basket a little bit, which I'm not that worried about that. That'll be an easy, easy fix. Hope you guys found all the Black Friday deals that you wanted. I didn't really. The Christmas tree was the big thing that we got for a discount, which that was awesome. But um, I don't Black Friday shop. I did take my son to one store to try to find the PlayStation, and um, they didn't put them out on, we actually went Saturday, we didn't go Friday, but they didn't put them out on, or no, we did go Friday. Um, they didn't put them out on Black Friday, they chose to put them out on Saturday instead, but people were already sitting outside the store <laughs> and um, waiting in line, and they were going to stay there all night, and it was, when I got up on Saturday morning, it was like 23 degrees here. Um, because Theron was trying to talk us like into letting him go do that and I said well you have to somebody has to go with you and none of his friends could go and his dad's like I'm not sitting out there in the cold all night and um when I got up in the morning I was very happy that he didn't end up doing that because man that had to be misery sitting out there And we don't have any of the fancy, like, I know, like, if you have those um, sleeping bags that are 30 below or whatever the thing is, um, that those are helpful, but, like, we don't have anything like that. We just have regular sleeping bags, so I was just worried about that because I'm just looking for a word on here. I'm sure you figured that out. <laughs> uh, Um, I don't know what one it is. I can try to the world, but it seems fitting. I need to print out some more of those because there's more, and I keep just using the same ones. stinker cutting these out. I don't want to cut off the black part on them. Okay, that's way too goopy and gloppy. But yeah, I couldn't believe that people I mean, I can, because I've seen people do that stuff before, but man, it was so stinking cold. And like this morning, it was, I think, 19. Everything's just covered in frost still. And the frost is just floating around in the air, you know, how it does sometimes. It's so weird. Okay, we have to try to get, I want to get her whole hand here. Maybe we'll put a little lace at the bottom or something that looks naked. <laughs> Just that little bit there. Oh, 
like to use too much uh, bulky stuff, but it just feels like it needs a little something down here. I know I'm covering her shoe, but it's fine. Probably should have done this part first, but I didn't. And I'm going to use this because I want it to stick all the way down, so hopefully it doesn't grab every time it goes in and out of the pocket. That's the hope anyway. It's a pretty thin lace, so it should stay. Okay, what did I do with me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Serious. Oh, Amy. My joy to the world. You guys see it and I'm just losing my marbles. Well, I don't know where it went. I guess we'll put something else on there. That was really weird. These be cute. Oh, you know what would be cute is snowflakes. That's probably why I lost my joy to the world, right? It just wasn't meant to be. Don't you guys love that when you do stuff like that? It's like, what in the world? Where did it go? Okay, well, we'll do snowflakes instead. I'm just going to tap them a little so they're not quite so white. I'm going to use this. I may still end up putting a, some word on there, but, or saying whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, I need a paper towel or something. Right next to me. I'm going to put one on here too. Put one on somewhere else, maybe. Yeah, I got to do something like that. And these are just a, a punch that I have. It's, I think it's a Martha Stewart punch. It's just snowflake. But if you have a die cut or a whatever. The other day uh, it snowed here and um, the snowflakes were, it seemed like about this size. <laughs> they were huge and that poofy, poofy, I don't know, they were super cool. And then they fell and then it was 40 degrees, so <laughs> like an hour later, so they it all melted. But it was, those were some, I love it when they're those big, fat, fluffy snowflakes. They're just really neat. Right now it's so darn icy out there. I think it's just ice crystals. Got 
got up this morning and there was pogo nip on everything and I, I don't know if everybody knows what pogo nip is but I grew up in Nevada and that's what you call the frost when it like covers every little piece of the trees and everything that's the Indian word um, for it is pogo nip so that's what we always called it but I know a lot of people don't they just call it frost or whatever but I love that when it's like just covering every branch so I did go out and kind of take a couple of pictures this morning, early. Okay. There's those, and then we'll probably put some kind of lace up at the top to pull that in and out. Maybe the same one that I used to go across the bottom. And I like to glue these on a little before I, um, oh, you know what, I need to put the covers back. Let's use, probably do another piece of this. Because you can definitely write on that, it's not very dark. And we want to make it into a tag shape, but I will stitch around it. Um, I usually do that with book page just because it never seems to stick down entirely. I need to straighten this out. So, yeah, that seems to work the best. Oh, so tell me if any of you know anything about Glowforge. Um, my husband was looking into those, you know, because he's got his 3D printer and he just really likes doing stuff like that and, you know, like making stuff for the shop and we've talked about doing more, but um, gosh dang, they're so expensive. So I'm just curious, I don't know anybody that has one, so I was just wondering if anybody knows anybody or anything about it. I mean, I think the possibilities with it are endless. I think you could just make all kinds of cool things, stencils, and I've tried to do that on the 3D printer, but as you've seen, that one of mine kind of fell apart. I think it's just because the way that plastic is, and we've tried like uh, more pliable material, and it just doesn't seem to work. So, um, but yeah, you could do lots of different things on there. I just don't know. So I'm just wondering if anybody knows anything about it. I mean, I've, I've looked at YouTube videos and stuff on it, but it's nice to actually hear from somebody that has one. And if you don't know what it is, it's a laser cutting machine, but you have to do all the programming on a computer for it. So, to cut out whatever you want to cut out. But it'll cut wood, it'll pretty much cut anything, but um, like vinyl records you're not supposed to cut because they put off chlorine gas, which is deadly, but um, you just have to kind of look up what you want to cut out to make sure that it's not a problem. Um, and it won't cut metal, but pretty much sounds like cuts everything else, wood, paper, uh, fabric. Um, it will do acrylic as long as it's, you know. Those vinyl sheets are fine, but the vinyl records, no. So. And the other thing that's kind of crazy is you have to have like a ventilation system. I mean, it's fine because we're moving my whole craft area into another room and it has a window, so we could actually vent it out the window and that would be fine. But yeah, I don't know. They're just way expensive, so I'm not sure if we should, you know, do it as a business investment or not. Okay, so 
so that's going to go in there. Oh, we got, need to put our little lace on, that's what I was forgetting. I like to just glue it a tiny bit with my glue stick so that it'll stay when I'm sewing, because otherwise I seem to get it all crooked or bunched up or something ridiculous, so that's the way I like to do it. And that will get stitched around. It's going to go in here. And then you can further, obviously, decorate these pages if you want, or you can leave them plain so that you can write on them, which is really awesome. Oh, I forgot about rounding the corners, huh? Yeah, it's tight down at the bottom, but oopsie. I didn't let that dry. And it wasn't very much glue to begin with. I might have to glue it again. Okay, so that would get glued down. You have two places to write and two places to write. I probably will, you know, add something like it would be good to do. Oh, I know, I got out. This is by Medieval Mirage. Let's see how it's got the lines. I thought those might be kind of cool on a couple of those pages. I'm just going to, uh, trying to think if I want to tear it with this, I guess I should, because I'll probably just destroy it. I try to just do it by hand. And I know the edge is pretty, but I want that torn edge, so I'm tearing it. <laughs> just to add something, you don't have to do this at all. You can totally just have it um, the plane, obviously. But I think this just kind of adds a little something to it with the flower and everything. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying if you're using um, scrapbooking paper, this is the kind of little note spot I'm talking about that you can add to it. Oh, it drives me crazy when I have glue on my fingers. will work well. I have to print some more of that out. I'm trying to think how I want this. up all the coffee dyed paper because I do like it. Maybe one on this side or something would work. Not very Christmassy, I know, but um, when you're doing the shabby chic, that's kind of, you know, how it goes. Here on the table and everything. Um, yeah, it's a little less Christmassy. That's why I'm saying you could use these for really anything, and it would be fine. Just trying to make sure I've got it semi-straight. Yeah, I'm not sure which Medieval Mirage kit that is from, so I apologize for that. That's the problem once they end up in the scrap pocket. It's 
sort of over. Sometimes I remember. I think it's Eclectic Essence, but I'm not sure. Might be Feminine Finesse. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But as I've said many times, you really can't go wrong with any of her kits if you go get one. Because they're all beautiful, beautiful papers. Okay. So that's how I'm going to have it. But you could definitely, you could decorate a whole lot more or however you want, you know. I think I am going to cut out one of these. Let's see, do I have this one? I like the writing of. Since I lost my other one, I really have no idea where that fell away to. And I will link this digi as well in the description box and uh, Taylor made journals and my reason for the season. So if you want, you can go and I'll, I'll link Medieval Mirage. to kind of cut around this instead. Something about the box isn't working for me. Use tacky glue to make sure this stays on here. Maybe if I can get my tacky glue out. And that still isn't too, too thick for a journal. I mean, it'll be a little bumpy right there, but that's right. And then a little tag, which I have to be careful so I don't pull the little lace off. <laughs> So there we are. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have an awesome day and thank you. Thank you to all my new subscribers and hello, hello to all my old subscribers. I love all of you. You're amazing, amazing support. So um, have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.